we continue to follow breaking news here on CBS Sports HQ. Tiger Woods intends to play in the Masters, saying, quote, as of right now, I feel like I am going to play. He's going to tackle nine more holes on Wednesday, prepare for Thursday, and barring any setback, the five-time Masters champ will give it a go at Augusta National. Now, the odds for Tiger Woods are at 50-1. to 1. They were actually about a week ago closer to 66-1, to 1, but people started knowing and sensing that he's heading to Augusta National and then everybody wants a piece of Tiger Woods. So at the moment at Caesar Sportsbook, he's at 50 to one. Everyone is trailing John Aram, the betting favorite, as he has been perched at that stage on the PGA Tour for most of the season at 10 to one. And then Rory McIlroy, of course, at 20 to one. Rory trying to complete that career grand slam, which Tiger Woods is a part of. And with that, let's bring in Ray Gaiman, host of the First Cut podcast and data analyst and productive engineer there for guys at Sportsline. So, Rick, a lot to get to. But first, your reaction, Tiger Woods saying he's going to give it a go. Yeah, he made it official. And this was kind of the, the final puzzle piece that we've been putting together for the last 14 months or so. It really started to come into frame when he had that practice round a couple of days ago where he flew up with Charlie and uh, took care of the course. And there had already been rumors about the sweat and the time that he was putting in down at Medalist and how hard he was swinging it, how often he was playing without the use of a golf cart. And we were starting to put all these puzzle pieces together. And then Tiger finished it off for us here this morning by confirming that uh, assuming all nine holes go well on Wednesday, his final practice round of the week, he is going to compete in this year's Masters. And Tommy, in true Tiger Woods fashion, uh, he took it a little bit further and he said, I, I expect to compete. I expect to win. I wouldn't be out here if I didn't expect that. It only furthers what everybody is, and it may only be the $10, $20, $30 better. Everybody wants a ticket. Everybody wants a piece of Tiger like he did a few years ago when he was 14-1. to 1. What do you make of the future odds at the moment with Tiger at 50-1? to 1? Yeah, 50 to 1. And at that at this moment, I, I think is important, Tommy, because uh, there has never been a more public golfer, maybe a, a more public athlete than Tiger Woods. All of that public money is going to come in over the course of the next couple of days. And odds makers are going to have to take a stand somewhere on Tiger Woods. And I imagine that that odd, uh, those odds at 51 are going to continue to get shorter. You're going to have the sentimental bettors who haven't had an opportunity to bet on Tiger in 17 months. You're going to have those that uh, yeah, just want to be part of something, just want to have a reason to root for Tiger in case he does go out and win this golf tournament. I don't think you'll see a lot of the sharp money coming in on Tiger Woods with all due respect to the GOAT. Uh, it has been a long time since we've seen him competitively. He's talking about uh, his body and his ability to get through four rounds, but those $10, $20, $50 bets are certainly going to add up, and I think odds makers are going to have to shorten him over the next day or two. We do have a graphic of Tiger's Masters odds, which includes the 50 to 1. So if, if someone wants a Tiger ticket plus to make a little bit of money, are you doing make the cut? Are you doing miss the cut? Miss the cut is, is, is you have to lay a little bit of juice there. And then first round leader is also kind of at 50 to 1. So if, if there was a smart lean right now, Rick, what would that be? I believe it is for Tiger Woods to make the cut. This is actually a wager that I've already made myself. The uh, the problem with first round leader, even top 10, top 20, it's asking a lot of Tiger Woods and he does not necessarily control the entirety of his own outcome. With making the cut, he's a lot more in control. And I think what we're going to get from Tiger, who we all know is probably two shots better than the field, just in terms of his experience and knowledge of Augusta National, is he's almost assuredly going to get that Thursday morning, Friday p.m. wave. That's the wave he wants, and I imagine Augusta National is going to oblige. And what we're going to see is uh, I think he's going to play well on day one and day two, but as he talked about in his press conference, uh, it's, it's about the walk. It's about the physical aspect of getting warmed up, getting cooled down, doing that every single day. I think the most realistic course for Tiger Woods this week is that he plays well, makes the cut, and then you probably see him fade on the weekend. I hope that I'm wrong. I hope he contends, but I think that's the most logical outcome for him this week. All right, so make the cut plus 110, top five finish 11 to 1, top 10 finish 5 to 1, and miss the cut, you would have to lay $1.40. Rick, before I let you go from a DFS perspective, we're talking, I think, roughly 8K or so for Tiger Woods. Is there any scenario where people are putting him in there? 
Oh, for sure. Yeah, he's going to be uh, incredibly popular, at least more popular than he he should be, because uh, as much as I, I want to see Tiger play well, and I have wagered real American dollars on him to make the cut, from a DFS perspective, it's almost an objectively bad play to roster him. Uh, there are guys that are priced in a similar area, like Sam Burns, who's won three times in the last 12 months. Tiger Woods hasn't played competitively in 17 months. Sung Im, Adam Scott, all priced in a similar area. So uh, Tiger Woods always will be more popular than he should be, but when you're comparing him to his peers in a daily fantasy setting, I believe it's an objectively bad play to have a lot of exposure to Tiger Woods. Greg, certainly appreciate it. Tiger Woods is back, and we can get excited with it. Of course, looking forward to that a conversation of the First Cut podcast. Our thanks to Rick Gaiman there. Again, odds to win the Masters. Tiger Woods a week ago was 66 to 1. He's now 50 to 1. It could be even shorter now that everyone knows and hears that he is on his way back. And Rick just laid out some nice, smart leans and bets for you to not only have a Tiger ticket, but to maybe make some money as well. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.